Yeah, if you have two vectors like uh, let's say V and W are two vectors, could be n-dimensional vectors or not. Generally, we have like two vectors. So we will operate these two vectors. Uh, we say, yeah, yeah, we operate these two vectors. Now we multiply these two vectors. So I think in your A levels, uh, you learn a scalar product or uh, also known as dot product, right? Dot product. Dot product of two vectors. And this one, right? Uh, uh, which is uh, yeah, known as scalar product. So when you uh, take the dot product of these two vectors, the resultant one would be a scalar or vector? What do you think? So what is the resultant one? Is this a vector or a scale? Yes. It is a, not vector, scale, a number. All the time you get a number. Do you remember the a definition? Magnitude of V times magnitude of W. And let's say the angle between these two is theta. This is, let's say this is V and this is W, right? Let's say the angle between V and W is theta. Then this is the definition, right? Definition. Yeah. Cos, cosine of theta. So, yeah, magnitude is a scalar, magnitude is a scalar, and cos theta also a number scalar. When you multiply three scalars, you get a scale, another scalar, right? Don't say vector, right? Scalar. That's why we call it scalar product, right? Scalar product. This is the definition. Or oh, that product you can say, which is known as that product in a level. Adisha gunite, right? Adisha, that's why scalar product, Adisha gunite, or that product, right? Right. So if you have two perpendicular vectors, what, what is the that product of these two? If A and B are two, yeah, two vectors which are perpendicular to each other, then what is the dot product of A and B? Yes, dot product of A and B, or scalar product of A and B, yeah, would be equal to zero, why? Cos of angle, what's the angle? Pi over two, cos of uh, 90 degrees, or pi over two, yeah which is equal to zero, that's why you get, now if, if these vectors are perpendicular, that product gives you zero all the time, right? Or if, if, if you take the dot product, then if you get zero, and let's assume these are non-zero vectors, right? Non-zero vectors, then you can say they are perpendicular, right? They are perpendicular to each other. Right, for instance, here, yeah, look at this. Uh, remember, yep, so if you consider three dimensional space frame, right? X, Y, Z. Yep, so I and identity, yep, a unique vector I, J, yeah, K are you three unique vectors along O X, O Y, and O Z respectively, right? So what is the angle? Yeah, angle between I and J, yeah, 90. If you take the dot product of I and J, you get zero all the time. The dot product of I and K, K and J, yep, all are equal to zero because the angle between these uh, vectors, yeah, uh, two vectors, two unique vectors is equal to zero, uh, is 90 degrees. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. And if you take the dot product with itself, what do you get? Yeah. A dot A. Yeah. What do you get? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Which is not one. A, A is any, any vector. I, I didn't say this is a unique vector, right? A is any vector. What do you get? Yeah. A dot with A. Yes. According to this definition, that product definition, no. what do you get? Yeah, yeah. Theta is zero. A dot A. Use the definition here. What is this? Well, let's use the definition. Yeah. Magnitude of the first vector. Not one, not one. Now let's use the definition. Yeah, yeah, this is the definition. Yep, magnitude of the first vector, magnitude of the second vector, A again, and cos of zero is one. Yep, magnitude of A squared, that's all. All right. Yeah, magnitude squared of magnitude modulus a. Yeah, that's right. Top squared. Magnitude of a squared. Yeah, modulus. Yeah, squared. Yeah, this one squared. Yeah, modulus a squared. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's why. That's why these things equal to one. Right. Modulus of i is one. Modulus of yeah, j is one because these are unique factors, right? Yeah, when you take uh, the dot product with itself, uh, you get one. Yeah, that's right. And again, yeah, if you know these two conditions, right, you can get another expression for that product of a, b. Yeah. So, so. A is a, is a three-dimensional vector. Uh, these are the corresponding components. And B is another vector in three-dimensional space. That's why you have one, two, three components, right? Yeah, take the dot product. You know, uh, I that expand this. Yeah, you can expand this, right? Expand these two brackets, right? So here, look at this, i dot j is equal to zero, i dotted with j is equal to zero, but i dotted with i is one. That's why you get this term, right? Plus, yeah, i dotted with j is zero, i dotted with k is zero again. Now this one, j dotted with i is zero, because 90, uh, the angle between j and i is 90. j, j, j dot, j dot with j is 1. Then a, y times b, y. Yep, this term plus. Yeah, this one 0, and this is 0, 0, and b. Yeah, this makes sense. If A is a unique factor, then the answer is, yeah, that's right, yeah, if A is, yeah. So, yeah, if A is a unique factor, the answer would be one, yeah, you're right, yeah, because one squared, yeah, one, yeah, that's right. Okay, that product, all this property, commutative property, if you, uh, the way you uh, operate with the that product, uh, yeah, it's not important. You can put it in this way or other way around, right? And this one also true. Yeah. Um, yeah, but here look at this. Uh, um, there's a call for me. Yeah. Can you use that? Yep. Yeah. Some, uh, I answer that. Uh, uh, that's fine. Yep. 
Uh, yeah. So here, yeah, look at this. Uh, is this clear to you? This one here. So you dotted with V. Um, this is a scalar, right? Now, because of this, this could be negative or positive scalar, right? Then you stretch or shrink uh, W, right? But here, look at this. U dot W, another scalar, it could be positive, negative, or zero. Uh, then when you multiply U with this, yeah. U shrinking or uh, stretching U. So this is clear, yeah, that's why. Right. Yeah, this is clear, not D quad. Here you stretch or shrink W, and here you stretch or shrink U. And this is obvious, yeah. These two quantities are not equal. They are not equal, right? That makes sense, right? Yeah. All right. Now, dot product. So these are the application. If you want to find angle between two vectors, you have to compute dot product, right? Of those two here. Yeah. So according to definition here, so a dot B is equal to magnitude of A times magnitude of B. Cos of theta, you can solve this for cos uh, theta, right? Okay. Yeah, so that product can be used to find angle between two vectors, right? So this is one of applications of uh, that product. Right. So, for instance, here, look at this. Uh huh. So, one vector is given. Yeah, a is given. So, this is uh, a vector in three-dimensional space. Uh huh. B also given. Yeah. So, you can find here. There are two definitions here. A that B is equal to this uh, sum of these products, and which is also equal to this definition. Right, so you can so this one is equal to the sum of these products, right? So sum of these products, yep, three times two plus one times one plus five times three, which is yeah, yeah, sum of these products is equal to uh -huh, is equal to Magnitude of A, yeah, you could find magnitude of A. What is the magnitude of A? Square root of three squared, uh -huh, nine, one squared, and five squared, yeah. Magnitude of A, and magnitude of B, magnitude of B, which is, yeah, square root of two squared plus one squared, plus six squared, no, three squared. Yeah, so, so this is sum of uh, products divided by magnitude of A and magnitude of B. With, uh, this one is equal to cos theta. You can solve this for theta very easy. Yep. For, uh, yeah, four or five, five plus nine. 14 now uh, this is uh, 35 square root of 35 now you have to use a calculator to compute this yep then uh, co cosine of uh, theta is this this number and what is theta yeah. yeah simple yeah that product can be used to find angle between two vectors all right that is one of applications of that product right okay and others, uh, yeah, so if you want to find the work done on a body by a force uh, through this distance, yeah, you have to take the dot product. This is force and this is displacement. Yeah, then you can find the work, work done. All right, and what is the other one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these are the 
main applications of that product. You can find angle, angle between two vectors and you can find vector. All right. Now, this one, vector product. Okay. So when you operate, yeah, so these are two vectors in n dimension, let's say in general n in dimension, right? Yeah, so I operate, I take the product of these two vectors. This is a, di a different uh, product. I'm not saying with, so I use a different notation here. Here, this, this one. Earlier I put uh, that, now I put, I put cross. Yeah, this is also known as cross product. Yeah or vector product. So what is the resultant one when you operate A and B? So when you operate, when you take a vector product of A and B, and the resultant one would be a vector. This would be a vector. Earlier one, earlier one, this one is a scalar, yeah. While this one is a scalar, but yeah, so when you take cross product, the resultant one would be a vector, all right? So, so yeah, so this is the definition of vector product or cross product, right? So A cross B is equal definition, right? Definition, yeah? A cross B is equal to magnitude of A, uh -huh. Then magnitude of B, sine of theta. Theta is the angle between A and B. It varies from zero to two pi, right? Yep, yep, two pi, yep. No, pi, oh, pi, pi, yep. So range of a theta, yeah. Theta between yep, zero and pi, yep. pi, right? So yeah, sine of theta times the unique vector, right? This is the unique vector. So what is the direction of this unique vector? All right. So the direction is perpendicular to the Plane of uh, perpendicular to both A and B, right? Or you could say N is perpendicular to the plane of A and B. So here you can uh, you can see a plane. You can keep these two vectors on a plane, right? So this, uh, this resultant one, cross product of A and B, is perpendicular to plane of A and B, right? Now, how do we know it is popping, uh, coming into the, uh, yeah, coming out to the plane or going into the plane? So for that, you have to use your right hand to find that direction, right? So take your right hand side, right? Right hand, use your right hand, right? So to get the direction of A cross B, right? So you have to use your right hand right, to get the direction. So how do you get the direction? So you need these three fingers, right? Thumb, and the first index, yep, index finger, and the middle finger, right? Keep your thumb along vector A, along the first vector A, so which is the first vector, right? So keep your thumb along the first vector, right? Okay. Take your right hand side and keep your thumb along the first vector. Here, this is the first vector and this is the second vector, right? A is, A is the first vector, B is the second vector. 
So you have to keep your thumb along the first factor, uh -huh, which is A, yeah, along this direction. And keep your yeah, index finger along the second vector, right? All right. And then position, then you have to uh, yeah, set your middle finger uh, perpendicular to the A and B. Yeah, perpendicular to this thumb and the index finger, right? Okay, you have to use your right hand side, all right? Yep, keep your thumb along. Yeah, this is your thumb, yep. Use your thumb and this is your index. Yeah, along, yeah, thumb and index finger along B. And, and you have to, uh, yeah, set your middle finger, uh, yeah, perpendicular to these two fingers. Uh -huh. uh, very difficult to draw, yeah, yeah, this one, yeah. This is your middle finger, which is perpendicular to A and B. So the direction of middle finger gives you the direction of A plus B, right? Now you know how to find the direction of A plus B, right? Because it is a vector, that's the thing. So earlier one, that product is a scalar, scalar or number, number, quantity, could be negative or positive or zero. But here, this is a vector. And you can say that's why we call it a vector product. Earlier one, scalar product. This is a, this is scalar product. That means the resultant one is a scalar. So close product, that's why we call vector product. The resultant one would be a vector. To find the direction, you have to use the right hand side, right? You have to keep your, uh, you have to use these three fingers and keep uh, these fingers along it in this way, right? Then the third or middle finger gives you the direction of this close product. All right, makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, so now you have three vectors, A, B, and C are three vectors. Here I add, I add A and B, and here you have, so when you add two vectors, you know the resultant one would be a vector. Now I take the resultant one, I take the cross product with the resultant one and C, right? Yeah, so you can, yeah, so yeah, expand this bracket. So, yeah. what can you explain further using? Which one? Which one do you want? Do you want me to explain them? This one? This one or? Yeah, I will take, I will discuss a couple of uh, yeah, examples, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, cross product. Yeah, let's compute the yeah, cross product. Yeah, let's compute. So give me another yeah, five minutes. Uh, I will explain these things. These are the properties. Right. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will discuss that. I will compute how to find the cross product of two vectors. Yeah, I will, I will do that. Yeah. So before that, let me discuss some properties of a vector product or cross product. Uh, uh, someone is asking, yeah. The first one is the correct one. Yeah, you don't put i, j, k when you write, uh, when you use brackets. Right, the first one is the correct one. Right? 
bracket yeah 3 comma 5 comma uh, 3 comma 4 comma 5 yeah so you don't write uh, bracket 3i comma 4j comma if you want to write in terms of i j k you have to put plus sign plus 3i plus 4j vector unique vector j plus 5 unique vector k don't put uh yeah brackets right okay the first one is the correct way if you want to write in terms of i j k don't put uh, brackets uh just uh yeah just write 3i plus 4j plus 5 k yeah, 3i, only 3i means other two components are equal to 0. 3i plus 0j plus 0k, right? Okay. All right, so so we know that uh, that product holds commutative property, but a vector product does not hold commutative property. If you if you switch these two, you have to. If you want to switch these two, you have to multiply that by negative one, right? So if you switch these two, then direction would be other way around, right? A cross B is not equal to B cross A, right? Right, but but it is equal to minus b cross a, right? Minus b cross a, right? So yeah, this one is not equal to that, right? You cannot change the position of these brackets, right? You cannot change the position of uh, this bra these brackets. This is uh, yeah not equal. Right. That means so that means this operator does not hold the associative uh, property. This operator does not hold commutative property. Yeah, holds distributive property. Yeah. Right. So this uh, yeah this one is true. Yeah. Right. This is right. All right, if the, yeah, if cross product of two vectors is equal to zero, let's assume A and B are non-zero vectors. So what do you, so if your cross product is equal to zero vector, right? And let's assume A and B are non-zero vectors, right? So what can you say about that? All right. So this one is equal to zero, zero vector, right? Because it is a vector. Uh -huh. This is, uh, we know that this is a unique vector. Uh, then this should be equal to zero. Uh -huh. We know that A is a non-zero vector. Uh, this is not equal. And B also non-zero vector. Uh, then sine theta should be equal to zero. Zero. So this is yeah, zero. Sine theta is equal to zero. Sine theta is equal to zero. Yeah, that means theta could be zero or pi. Because pi between zero and pi that means a and b are parallel or yeah parallel or could be opposite direction this is a this is b angle between a and b if your cross product is zero Right, that implies, let's assume A and B are non-zero vectors. This one is equal to zero vector, right? 
then that implies the angle between A and B is either zero or pi. Okay, either zero or pi. If uh, angle between uh, A and B is equal to zero, that means they are parallel. If angle between A and B is equal to pi, that means, yeah, this is A and this is B, yeah, they are. Yeah, opposite direction. N vector is non zero. Yeah. So N is the unique vector there, unique vector, which is perpendicular to the plane of A and B, right? N is a unique vector which is perpendicular to plane of A and B. Right? So if you take the magnitude, you get one, yeah. If you, if you can, yeah, if you take the magnitude, then you get one. Of course, it is a unique vector. Right? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, and this, can you say why? They are non associative. Associative. Yep, are ah, here. Here, ah, why? All right. It's a good question. Yep. All right, let's imagine that. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, think that much. All right. Yep. Okay, let's uh, try to visualize. Yep. This is A. Uh huh. This is B, all right. All right, the cross product of A and B is perpendicular to plane of A and B, right? This is the direction. A cross B, right? You can use your right hand side to find the direction, right? gives you the cross direction of cross product is perpendicular to plane of A and B or both, or you can say the cross product is perpendicular to both A and B, right? Vector B. Okay, right. Now you take the cross product with C, okay? So this is the now you take the cross product of this one and C. So let's draw C, right? So this is C. Yep. Uh -huh. This is C. So you know there's uh, you know for ve for a vector, there is no exact lo location in the space. So you can shift your vector in to anywhere you like, right? So I will shift this vector to here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have to take the cross product of this one and this one. Uh -huh. So how, what is, where, so, so then what is the direction? Where's the direction? So direction of, yeah. Let's find A cross B. Yeah, plus C. Yep. So this vector should be perpendicular to this one as well as C. C vector. So very difficult to draw. I will use a different color. I will use red color to draw that. Uh, yeah, very difficult. Yeah, oh, this is that. This one. Yeah, which is perpendicular to this and C. Okay. Inside of the page. Right? 
Inside of the page, I don't understand. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, inside. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. Direction of this. Yep, so, and find the direction of this one as well, yeah? B cross C, uh -huh. B cross C, the direction outward. Yeah. I have to use a different color. Yeah. B cross E, yeah. Uh, we don't know the magnitude, size of magnitude, but we can find the direction which is perpendicular to B and C. This is C, yeah. Okay, we draw like, yeah, uh, and you have to, yeah, so take the post for that with a, a cos B and C, all right. Okay, where's A, 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 uh, yeah, this is, uh, B cross, no, this is B cross A. Uh -huh. uh, this is A. Right, when you take cross product, you get completely different direction. Yeah, That's why they are not equal. Right, that's why they are not equal. Think about this one, yeah, visualize this. Then you will realize this is uh, the equality, you cannot put equal sign. Yeah, they are not equal, right? Okay. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Makes sense? Yes. All right, good, good, good. Uh, like that, you have to visualize. All the time, use right hand side, right hand to find the direction of post product. Yeah. Then you will realize yeah, these two are not. Yeah. All right. So the i, j, k are unique vectors along O, x, O, y, O, z, respectively, right? Uh, can you please explain second? Second, this one here. This one? Second property. Yeah, all right. A cross B. All right, use your right hand side. A cross B. Yeah. Coming, so the direction of A cross B. Is, is coming, yeah, coming out of the page, yeah, coming out of the screen. Yeah. So when you use a uh, right-hand side here, yeah, this is the direction. Okay. Now take other way around. Consider other way around. B cross A. Now your first vector is B. The second vector is A. Uh, keep your yeah, keep your thumb along the first vector B. Yeah. Uh -huh. And keep your index finger along the second vector. A is the second vector. And and position your middle finger perpendicular to A and B, then that gives you the direction of B cross A. So, which is going into the screen, right? So, direction reverse. That's why you put negative. If you want to make it equal, you have to multiply this one by negative one. Does that make sense? All right, good, good, yep. Yeah. I uh, like that. If you have any questions, yeah, you can ask like that. Yeah. So here, yeah. uh, let me yeah. Who's the recording? I think we better. 